Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I thought I'd show you my Elvis chapter books, like my Elvis nonfiction novels. I have a couple of them and I read a couple of them. So I thought I would um, come on here and show you guys. I have other books like coffee table books and magazines and little smaller um smaller books and so i thought i would show you the actual like chapter books that i have so let's get started um the first one i have elvis and me by priscilla Bowie presley this is probably my favorite book ever um it was 8.99 i bought it at graceland and i just have my favorite um to have my favorite parts so like there's some pictures and stuff they're black and white and this one has 318 pages i love this book so much i like the size of it too see it's like the spine is cracked i read it and then this book i have a little thing called life by linda thompson with her story with elvis and bruce jenner and other stuff so basically it's split picture split in half so this first this first half right here is all about Elvis, and then the, uh, this half right here is about Bruce and other people. I'm not going to spoil too much, but just like letting you know, like here's pictures of him and Linda. So this is a great book too. Um, it has 366 pages, and the pages is a very large print large book um so yeah this is a good book i love the cover design and then i got i got this one on amazon and you can also get elvis and me on amazon as well and then i have this ray Connolly being elvis a lonely life i found this at a harvard library store bookstore um so I've never heard of this book. I found it in the music section. I'm sure you can find this in your music section as well. I have not read this one yet. It has 346 pages. So I can probably knock this out in four hours. Then I have Elvis and Ginger's fiance. I got this for my birthday this year. I from Amazon and I have not read it yet either um, because there's so many things on my on my TBR right now and this one has da, da, da. three hundred eighty three pages So there's Elvis and Ginger. And then the last book I have, I got this at a local bookstore. Elvis in Vegas by Richard Zoglin. Zoglin. There's the back. I don't really like cardback books, but Elvis is an exception. So does this have, does this one have pictures? I'm sure, yeah, of course it does. It just talks about like Vegas in the 60s and 70s um, and other stuff with Elvis in it. So there's that. And this one has this would be a quick read, honestly, because I can knock this out. Oh, does this... Oh, these are just notes. I don't know why this page is folded. That's weird. I'm trying to see how many pages this has.
to about 233 200 250 this is this will be an easy one to read here's what the author looks like There's Elvis in Vegas. There's a close up of that one. I know this is an audiobook too. Probably most most of these are audiobooks. There's Ray Carly. Yep. And then Here's Linda. Close up look on that cover. And there's Priscilla. The movie, there's a movie on this book. It's called Elvis and Me. It's free on YouTube. And I love that movie more than I love myself. And that's a bit extreme, but I'm I'm being honest. I'm being honest. See how see how much I've been reading it. It was such an easy read. I enjoyed pretty much every second of this book. This was eight ninety nine. So I've read these these two only. And if you want me to um, do a review on any of these books, like a separate video, I will post a review. So that is it you guys. I know it's a quick video today, but I just wanted to get this up here. So yeah, um, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Let me know which Elvis books you've read or you recommend in the comment section. I would love to know and get more books on my TBR. So that's, I guess that's it for everything and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!